Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to use make.com for beginners. So you first go right to the website make.com slash en English and then you will actually click on login. So I'm going to do that. If you want to go over the site and learn a bit more, you you absolutely can of course. But yeah, I, <laughs> I reached my limit, but I want to tell you how it works. So let's first go over here. You got the account settings actually. So an affiliate program, your profile and sign out. Uh, help. So there's actually, you can make an ac academy. There's a community because there's not a Discord of make.com and not a Telegram group. There used to be a group actually where people could join, but uh, that's not here anymore. There are some uh, groups I know, but um, there are not a lot of them. So you have to really search for them. If you want to, you can leave a message below. I'll try to help you out. So you can contact support here and help. What's new? So you can actually see the updates here. Uh, so you see here the new apps that are added, the new modules, eSIM. So you can see everything that's added. So your notifications of what happening. Happening. So I reached my limits on the 11th of August. So that's actually what happened and here is some resource hub that could help you out if you want to learn more about it in, in true videos so let's go now to the main things your keys devices data stores data structures and custom apps and let's go to custom apps you can build a scenario here and you can create one your own if you want i haven't tried it yet because i'm not that experienced actually in making api uh, here are the webhooks. I'm not actually using it right now, but a lot of people are using this module. We skipped connections, but uh, connections is uh, actually if you uh, want to sign up or want to use the module, for example, Google Sheet, you have to log in and the login will be stated at connections. So you can also disable your account there or log off your account again. So here are actually templates you could use from people that have already uh, created a, a scenario and if you want to use it because a lot of scenarios are already here so for example if you are in drop shipping and you use Shopify a lot here are a lot of things you can do actually through it so generate uh, automatically scripts through uh, OpenAI you can add products to Shopify from your Google Sheets row so you don't have to do everything manually anymore you can save your orders and so are a lot of things you can actually do and you can expand it with a lot so for example i already made some scenarios so let me show you i show you three scenarios or actually two because i only used two so uh from here on i got a google sheet and i put in the script and that go through 11 labs and 11 labs automatically uh, makes the script in audio so uh, the script is made with the audio and the audio audio uh, automatically goes to a google drive and that's actually how t how i automated my script with ai of course uh, on this channel is nothing ai but i have another channel which i'm just trying but it's not monetized so here you can go uh, i made another one this is a bit more complicated as you probably can see well uh OpenAI needs a subscription and I don't have a subscription on it and Grok is actually a free alternative method at the moment for ChatGP because it does the same or almost the same but it's free right now. I don't think it will be in the future always free but for now it is. So I actually fill in a Google Sheet with like a topic. It translates the topic into six languages and then uploads the cell with the six languages and then again uh, because this is only translates the topics and then again we search the rows a router because a router will actually put like all these pull out a different one out of the google sheet so for example you can see here it puts the main topic out of my google sheet and it translated into french and that's actually uh, this one is making the script for me and this one automatically updates the script into the different languages and uh, uploads it to my google sheet again and that's how i can automate my topics with my scripts uh, etc so there are a lot of use cases actually you can choose it for uh, let's 
at another module just so you can see which models there are and how it actually works so um, I don't actually use this one but let me show you so actually here are some apps so you got like a lot of them for example if you do like Shopify let me search for it you have a lot of things it can do so there are a lot of use cases so if we want to create a product we actually have to create a connection and from there on we can actually um, pull for example if we put a google sheet in front of it it automatically uh, gets the name and the description from the google sheet and uploads it into shopify so that are the use cases then here you have your schedule setting if you want to do it like uh, go off every day once in a week once in a month uh, could be useful for some cases then you can actually select that i always do on the man because i don't really need it uh, you can save it right here you have your scenario setting uh wait let me go over that through a different scenario so you can actually see what the plane does So for example, here you have your scenario setting, um, a lot of settings. I don't use, uh, I don't change anything of this, but some people will probably. You have notes if you want to add notes, auto align. Yeah, I, okay, now I auto aligned it, but uh, <laughs> that was not what I wanted to do. But okay, sure, it does the same still. And here I will explain the flow. So this is actually what I wanted to show you. This is how your flows go. So it goes into the router, it first do the first step, then it does the second step, the third step, and that's actually how it will go, the workflow, so you can easily see how the workflow will work. And so now it goes to this one, then to my Google Sheet updates, then search the rows, then it goes back into the router, just like this one. And as you can see right here, it goes on and on and on and then ends up right here to update the last cell so that's actually how it goes i want to run it actually for you but um i'm out of space or i need to upgrade and i don't need it right now so i'm not upgrading right now but maybe in the future then here you can Im import and export your blueprint if you if anyone else has a good blueprint and you need it you can import it right here uh you have your flow control you can add iterators array aggregates routers and repeaters i cannot go into depth right now on it because it's a bit more difficult uh, but there are a lot of tools on youtube you could actually see how it works so you have tools as well um, yeah i cannot explain them really fast and easy right now text paraphrasers so html to text etc and here are just the uh, apps you use a lot so you can easily swipe it in so that's actually how to do it and how to set up your scenario. Let's see if it changed back. Uh, if it didn't organize, yeah, it changed back. Nice. And then we go to team. So here are templates recommended. And here are actually your data transfer and operations. So, so here one in scenario errors, it will all be shown. And if you got an error, you can just type it into chat TP. I did so and solved a lot of problems there or grok. Uh, here's your price. So I don't pay anything right now. I'm in the free plan. Um, and as you can see your operators uh, monthly. So I'm at my max right now for operations. So I cannot do anything right now. So let's go over this. You have teams, you can add a new team if you want. If you skip user for now, because there's my details. Uh, here you get your subscription plan. So you have Teams, Pro, Core and Free. I'm now in the free version, but as you can see, I used it only a couple of times and it's already, um, you can create a lot of workflows for free, but if you run them and they're really big, um, you will have to upgrade real fast. So I probably upgrade in the future as well because I like the program and use it actually. So I will probably upgrade to Pro because it's not too pricey uh, in my opinion for what you get for it so here you can see the different ones um, so yeah that's actually it and build monthly it's a bit more expensive I think that's normal and here you can also see your comparison table so which one to choose 
So here are the payments. I haven't paid anything. Uh, installed apps. I haven't installed apps. Your variables. Um, yeah, nothing to see really there. And your custom scenario properties. I haven't done anything there. So this is actually how to use it. You have different kinds of scenarios. You can go always with it if you want to. If you just understand how the program works. So that's it. Thank you for watching. And if you need any help. I can uh, help you in the in the comment section. Thank you.